Hi, welcome back. In the last video we installed Express, we brought it in, uh, we started using it for our routes to make it easier to have post and get routes without adding extra code and to add a the slash API slash prefix to our uh, API based URL. In this video, we're going to start to work on authentication and on signing up users in particular. So let's do that. Before we start writing any code, let's go to our uh, project dashboard. Let's go to authentication and enable it by clicking here, set up sign in method. And here on email slash password, let's enable it and click save. Let's go to our project settings. And let's go here, your apps, and let's grab this config object. And let's go to our project. Now we're going to be using the uh, Firebase library, uh, which is a actually a client library, but we're going to use it to sign in and sign up our users and get uh, authentication tokens. So let's cd into functions and let's run npm install dash dash save Firebase. Okay, so let's initialize our Firebase application. Let's let's import it. So const Firebase equals require Firebase, and let's do Firebase dot initialize app, and we need to pass it that config uh, object. Let's do here const, and let's paste in our config. Actually, not var const, and let's take this config and pass it to as the argument to initialize app so that Firebase knows which app we're talking about. Uh, let's actually make this express line, um, ex express into one line by doing require express and calling it on the same line. I think it just looks neater like this and let's put it up here. Um, let's create our sign up route. Let's delete this comment, replace it with another comment saying sign up route. And this would be an, a post route, so app.post and it will be slash sign up and the ha on your, it's going to have a handler so request response as the arguments and uh, now we need to extract the form data from our uh, request body so let's do const new user equals an object and it's going to have an email if you remember our form has an email a password a confirmed password and a handle field so let's do email equals request dot body dot email comma and let's copy this line and paste it three more times select email control d and do password select email control d confirm password and handle uh, we're not gonna validate the data for now but let's write a to do here validate data and let's sign up our user so let's use the firebase package we installed firebase dot uh, auth as a function like this dot create user with email and password and let's pass it exactly that so new user dot email and the second argument will be new user dot password this returns a, a promise so let's do dot then data which I think is credentials it's uh, user credentials so let's do if we are here that means we have successfully registered so let's return a response response dot status of actually 201 which means resource created let's give a json object with a message uh, with a template string because we need to use a variable let's say user and let's do dollar sign curly braces to use a variable data dot user dot uid which stands for user id and let's say uh, signed up successfully and of course let's catch any potential errors and let's console dot error the error and let's return res dot uh, status 500 oops 500 server error and it's going to have a JSON with an error. Let's pass the error code. Let's return it in case there's any error. Let's save and let's run Firebase serve and see if this is working. Let's copy this endpoint. 
Let's go to Postman. Actually, already have it. So let's do slash sign up instead of screams. And it's going to be a, a post request. It's going to have a body of type application JSON. So we're going to have an email. Let's say this is user at email.com. We're going to have a password of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. We're going to have a confirm password, which does, which does nothing right now, but it will later. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the handle, which is going to be user. So let's send this request. And we get user, the ID of the user signed up successfully. And we get our code of 201. Cool. So if we go to our uh, Firebase project, let's close this. Let's go to authentication. And there we go. We get our user with this user ID right here. Let's copy this user ID and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, what we need to do right now is that Firebase by default um, doesn't allow us to store more information in about our users in the authentication uh, collection. But what we can do manually is we can create, um, of course, right now manually, but later programmatically, we can create a collection here. We call it users. And this will store uh, documents. For each user, we will have one document that holds uh, extra details that we need, such as uh, the handle and later like a bio uh, image URL, any extra details that you want to add. So, and the key thing that I want to do here is that our users, uh, of course, by default, because of Firebase, um, even though we can change this, but by default, each user is uh, each email is restricted to one user. So the email has to be unique, but we want to also have the handle as a unique thing. Like, of course, because this website is kind of like uh, a copy of Twitter. So our handles will be unique. So we can use our handles as the ID. So here, let's not to do auto ID and let's give the ID of the user that we just created, which is user as the document ID. And here we're going to have a user ID key. And the value of that is the ID we just copied. And we're going to have a created at, and let's give this a timestamp, the date today and say, I don't know, midnight, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's add another field. Um, this is going to hold, what, do we, what does this hold actually? Oh, yeah, let's, let's put the email actually, because if we need it, we're going to have it here. So user at email.com. I think this is all what we have, uh, for, for now. So let's save. So now what we need to do each time someone signs up, we need to check this collection and we need to make sure that uh, this handle is not taken. So if right now, if someone tries to sign up with a handle of user, uh, uh, the desired uh, behavior should be, uh, you cannot sign up because this handle is already taken. And if they try to sign up with the same email, Firebase will automatically give them that error. So let's actually write the code that uh, checks for the handle being unique. Let's look at our uh, studdb dot Actually, we don't have DB yet. Okay, let's change something. I saw this in the in the Firebase documentations and I like it. Let's do DB, const DB equals admin dot firestore as a function like this. And wherever we need firestore, we just do DB dot. So let's replace wherever we find admin dot firestore like this, we replace it with DB because it makes more sense. So DB. And there we go. Okay, so in our signup route, we need to do db dot collection users dot document. Actually, we we can do document without the collection. So let's do db dot document, and we need to pass it the path. So let's do a template string, and the path will be slash users for the collection, and the document will be let's do dollar sign curly braces new user dot handle and let's do dot get and of course this returns a promise and this will hold a uh, as we see here document snapshot yes document snapshot so doc and the way firebase works even if this document doesn't exist we'll have a snapshot 
So what we need to do is we need to have a conditional here, say if doc dot exists, which is a boolean, if this document exists, it's true. So if this document exists, then this is a problem because uh, this handle is already taken. So let's return res dot uh, status of, uh, let's give 400, a bad request, and let's give a JSON response. And the way we're going to structure our uh, React app is that we're going to return a, an, um, not an array, an object containing errors. And for if the error pertains to any field, let's say if the error pertains to the email, the error's name will be email. So in this case, the error's name will be handle. And the message will be, this handle is already taken. All right. And if this document doesn't exist, then cool. Let's create this user. So let's do here. Uh, so let's do Firebase. So let's do this Firebase dot all of this. Now Firebase dot auth create user with email and password, new user email and this. But since we're already in a then block, we need to return this. So return. So we return this and then we chain another dot then so that we will have the result or, or like the, uh, the return promise from this call here. Well, which will hold uh, data. Let's do here. Now, this if we get here, that means we have our user created. Uh, what we need to do now is I want to return uh, an access token, an authentication token to our user so that the user will later use to request more uh, data. So we can do that by, uh, we know that in data here, we have access to uh, uh, the ID. So let's do user ID equals data dot user dot UID for user ID. And we can do data dot actually user ID or is it user ID? Actually, we can even call it on the user itself. We don't need this. So we can do data dot user dot get ID token. Right now it's not recognizing the, uh, the type for some reason but this should work, get ID token. And this this actually is a, uh, re it returns a promise. So let's do return like this. And yeah, like this. And then let's chain another dot then. And this will have a token. So token, don't know why the types are not being return, um, being displayed properly, but let's just go with it. Let's return the token. So let's return the response.json. Um, let's give the status again of 201.json uh, token. We can just say token like this because the name of the property and the name of the value are the same. So token like this should have the uh, value of our token. Okay, let's delete this code here. And Let's do a dot catch error in case any error happens. Console dot error, the error, and let's return it as a response. Res dot status 500 JSON with an error, error dot code. Cool. Okay. Let's actually let's not put them by side by side. Let's run the same. Let's actually re register a new user. So let's say new at email, the same password and the handle is new. This should return us a token and it does. So we have an access token right now and this we will use to uh, use whenever we need uh, to access a router that is uh, protected. Okay, let's try to actually register a user that already exists. So let's send the same request. So send, we should get, and there we go. We get an internal server error, email already exists. Okay, so we shouldn't, this shouldn't be happening. We shouldn't get, actually, no, this should be happening because it's the error from here. So let's handle it here. We want, we don't want to return it like this. We want to check if the code of the error is this code exactly here. That means it's not a server error, it's just actually, it is a client error technically. So what we need to do here, we can do um, if 
error.code not code equals the string auth email already uh, in use. We need to return, um, yeah, I think, yeah, 400. Let's give a res.status 400.json and the error pertains to email. So it's the email and we say email is already in use. And if it's anything else, so else return this. And uh, do we do we handle any other errors? I think we don't. Okay, so let's go to Postman again. Let's send this request. Cool, email is already in use. Now we haven't yet uh, created a field for this. We need to create a, a not a field, a document for our user whenever they they register. So let's do that. So right here, before we get the token. Do we do it before we get the token? Actually, we don't we don't return this token here. So let's store it in a variable. Let's do here um, let token initialize token here. And then here we have let's do token equals token. And here instead of returning a response, let's um, let's let's do const user credentials equals and let's create our user document so this will have a handle of new user dot handle and we will have the email of new user dot email and uh, we will have a created that which will be new date to iso why do I always type the N after ISO? Okay, to ISO string, make sure you didn't misspell anything. And uh, we need the, the user ID here. Uh, user ID, oh, actually, how do we access the user ID? Oh, we need to put the user ID as well in a variable so that we can access it. So let's declare the user ID here. And we have access to it here. So let's do user ID equals data dot user dot uid and then we use we use it here oops not this user id or we can just do this because it's the same name okay here we now we need to persist these credentials into a document in our uh, collection in our users collection so we need to do db dot document and this will be in the users collection. Don't forget, by the way, a uh, thing, template literal string. So slash users slash, and we will give it, we'll give it the handle as the document ID. So this will be new user dot handle. And we need to do dot set, which creates the document, uh, unlike get. So let's pass this user uh, credentials. Um, Oh, this returns the promise. I keep forgetting, so let's return it. And then let's do yet again another then. I promise you, I'm pretty sure this is the last then. <laughs> uh, what do we get? We get some data here. What type of data is... Oh, it's a right result. This is actually useless. So let's just not even use it. <laughs> okay, return uh, res.json. Um, res dot status. Let's give the status. I don't. I can just return two hundred, but I just like to return two hundred one once something is created. So status two hundred one JSON, and we need the token. So token. Yeah, this will work because it's the same name. Yeah, the same name, the property, and let's save. Let's actually. Um, let me delete this. Let's delete the. Uh, the entire document, uh, the entire collection. And let's delete these two users because I don't want to keep coming up with new emails. <laughs> okay, let's test this out. Make sure we saved, we did, or I did. Make sure you saved as well. Let's do, this is user again. User has to be the first one. Okay, send. Let's cross our fingers. 
and hope for a token and we get 201 but an empty object interesting let's go here we refresh we get our user we go to the database a user's collection has been created cool and the id is user and we have the details here everything is fine but why don't we get the token back okay so the problem was variable naming ambiguity I named this token and this was token as well. And okay, so if this is token now. And then I uh, renamed the return from the promise uh, to ID token and then assigned token, the, this token to this ID token. And then here as the re response, I return token, which will hold the value of this. And if we test this, we go here and we do uh, new five, I don't know, new five, and we post. And we get the token back. Cool. All right, I would keep with validation and stuff like this, but this video is getting long, so let's continue in the next one.